In this lecture, let us understand histogram equalization. Histogram equalization is used for image enhancement. Histogram is the graphical representation of any data. Histogram in case of image processing is used to represent the data related to digital images. Histogram is the representation of relative frequency of occurrence of the various gray levels. So, it represents how many times the gray level value has occurred in a given digital image. Let us take this as an example. This shows a digital image with various gray level. In this digital image, we do not have any gray level which is having value 0 or 1. That is why we have written the value as 0. Gray level value 2 has occurred 3 times, 3 has occurred 4 times, 4 has occurred 4 times, 5 has occurred 5 times, 6 has occurred 6 times and 7 has occurred 4 times in this digital image. To represent the histogram, we can take an x axis with different gray level values from 0 to 7. So, 0 and 1 the value is 0. So, that is why we will represent it by 0. 2, 3 times it has occurred, 3, 4 times it has occurred, 4, 4 times it has occurred, 5 and 6 it has occurred 5 times in a digital image and 7 has occurred 4 times. So, this is the histogram representation of the given digital image. So, this is one of the example. So, we can take different example of histogram representation here. If we consider a dark image, the histogram is placed at 0. We know to represent the pixel value in x axis we will take the input pixel value and this input pixel value will vary from 0 to 255. So, 0 represents black and 255 represents white. So, in a dark image, the histogram is placed at 0 or we can say it is grouped at black values. This represents the image consists of more black pixels compared to other gray level values. In the same way, if we consider the bright image, the histogram values are placed towards white or 255 that indicates the given image is having more white pixels compared to other gray level values. If we take low contrast image, you can see this is the example of low contrast image. The histogram is placed at the center and if you take the high contrast image, the histogram is placed on entire plane. This placement of histogram in entire plane, we call that as the flat profile of histogram, which means for a high contrast image or a good quality image, the histogram values will be distributed on entire plane. So, from this we can say to get a high quality image, to get a high contrast image, the histogram value should be distributed on entire plane or it should be having a flat profile. Histogram is used for various image processing applications like manipulating the contrast value and also brightness of the digital image. The histogram can control the quality of an image by normalizing the histogram values to a flat profile. So, to get a high quality image, the histogram value should be normalized to a flat profile as you can see in this example. Let us take an example to understand histogram equalization. Let us take this input image with different pixel values. In this digital image, the highest pixel value is 5. So, we have written the highest pixel value. To represent this highest value, we require 3 bits because 2 to the power of 3 is 8. So, to represent the maximum value 5, we require 3 bits. So, 2 to the power of 3 is 8. So, 8 we can represent it as 0 to 7. Now, from this digital image, let us identify different gray values from 0 to 7 and number of pixels that are present in this digital image that can be represented as n k. 0, 1 and 2 gray levels are not available in this input image. That is why we have written it as 0. 3 is available 6 times, we have written that, 4 is available 14 times, 5 is available 5 times in the given digital image and 6 and 7 is not available in the 
image that's why we have written it as zero so to represent this we can take an x axis with different gray level values 0 1 2 value is 0 3 is 6 4 is 14 5 is 5 times and 6 and 7 is again it is 0 so this is the representation of input image on this image let us perform histogram equalization for that we will write down the gray level values and number of pixels in the gray level which is n k. So, gray level values are from 0 to 7. So, these number of pixels are taken from this table. After writing these number of pixels, next we will perform probability distribution function which is p d f that can be given as number of pixels divided by sum. So, n k divided by sum. So, sum can be calculated from this column. So, if you add all these values, we get the sum as n is equal to 25. So, we will perform PDF, we will take this value 0 divided by 25 it will be 0, 0 divided by 25 it is 0, again 0 it is 0, 6 divided by 25 it is 0 0.24, 14 divided by 25 it is 0 0.56, 5 divided by 25 it is 0 0.2 and again 0 divided by 25 it will be 0. After finding the PDF values, let us find the cumulative distribution function which is CDF that is represented as SK. To write this value, the first value 0 from the PDF is written as it is for XK. So, it is 0. To write this value, we will add 0 with this value and we will write the value here. So, 0 plus 0 it is 0. Again, 0 plus 0 it will be 0. Again, 0 plus 0 0.24 it is 0 0.24. 0 0.24 plus 0 0.56 it is 0 0.8, 0 0.8 plus 0 0.2 it is 1, 1 plus 0 it is 1, again 1 plus 0 it is 1. So, this is cumulative distribution function. To this cumulative distribution function, we will multiply with the maximum gray level value. The maximum gray level value for 3 bits can be 7. So, that is why we will multiply SK with 7. So, 0 into 7 it is 0, again for all the values of 0 it will be 0, 0 0.24 into 7 it is 1.68, 0 0.8 into 7 it is 5.6, 1 into 7 it will be 7. In the next step, histogram equalization level will be written. To write this, we will approximate these values. So, 0 approximated to 0. 1.68 will be approximated to 2, 5.6 is approximated to 6, 7 is approximated to 7. So, in this table, this is the input pixel values. So, this column is the input pixel value and the last column is the output pixel values. So, we can map if the input pixel is 0, output pixel value is 0. If the input pixel value is 1, output pixel value is 0 input image pixel value is 2, output image pixel value will be 0. For 3 it will be 2, for 4 it is 6, 5 it is 7, 6 and 7 again it will be 7. So, we can plot the graphical representation of the output image. So, we will take in the x axis the number of pixels from 0 to 7. So, 0 is mapped to 0, 1 is mapped to 0, 2 is mapped to 0, again 3 is mapped to 2, 4 is mapped to 6. 5 is mapped to 7, 6 and 7 again it is mapped to 7. Now, after writing this graph, you can compare the input graph with the output graph. So, in the input graph, the histogram values are at the center and in the output graph, the histogram values are somewhat distributed. Now, in the given input image, 3 will be replaced with 2. 4 will be replaced with 6, 5 will be replaced with 7, 6 will be replaced with 7 and 7 will be replaced with 7. So, if you replace the values, we will get this image. So, this is the output image after histogram equalization. So, this is the input image. For this input image, if we perform histogram equalization, we will get this image. This is about the histogram equalization in the digital images. I hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.